is that its cube root its cube root we write it with a very tiny 3 over here its cube root of this particular number will be ending in what digit uh 2 right yeah okay and if there is a number a cube a perfect cube whose last digit is 2 then its cube root its cube root will end in which digit if its last digit if the the cube last digit of the cube is 2 then the cube root its last digit will be 8 8 so you see how 8 and 2 are kind of like opposites over here yeah similarly you can say the same thing for 7 and 3 that yes. something yes. ending in the last digit 3 its cube will have the last digit 7 and vice versa some number whose last digit is 7 its cube will have the last digit as 3 okay okay i understand yeah but for for like 5 just a minute for 5 the last digit will be 5 for 6 the last digit will be 6 for 4 the last digit will be 4 for 1 the last digit will be 1 for 9 the last digit will be 9 just remember these uh, five things and for zero obviously the last digit will be zero just remember these things and just for eight and uh, eight and seven it will be interchanged okay for two it will be eight and for eight it will be two is this clear yes okay uh all right Can you take to the trilies that is on the the very first trilies of this chapter? Find the ones digit of the cube of each of the following numbers. Of the cube of each of the following numbers, not cube root. Can you uh, tell me the table number? See, uh, the book I'm using is the uh, the newer version, so it will be a little different. It, but in my thing, it's page number seventy three. So basically, it's just two pages after your the cha the start of the chapter. Just two pages after the start of the chapter. If okay, the start of the chapter is, ha, huh, found it. Fine. So find Can the one like, digit uh, of. Yes. Like, repeat the question. Yes. Yes. find the ones digit of the cube of each of the following numbers so if you have like 3 3 3 1 you have to find the ones digit of the cube of this number so the cube of this number its ones digit will be 1 1 one, yes right and 8 8 8 8 its cube the ones digit will be 2 very good and for the third one 149 its cube third digit will be no, sorry last digit will be i think 9 very 18. good 9 9 just take a look at this table okay the only things that will change their digits will be 2 and 3 2 will become 8 3 will become 7 and vice versa okay okay so now 1005 its cube will have the last digit to 5 no sorry very good 5 uh, yes 5 take a look at this table again all right hmm acha the next question is 1024 its last digit <coughs> will be the cube of 1024 last digit will be 4 will be um For itself, yeah, for itself. Acha, listen. One very important thing. Please don't get confused. Rasi, right now, uh, it is convenient for you because we are just doing cubes and cube roots, and we are not talking about squares and square roots anymore, right? But when you are revising for your exam, and when you are 
writing your exam you might get confused you might think oh wait for four square that is 16 so please don't make this mistake that you know uh, messing up the last digits of the squares and the cubes okay be very okay. careful about uh, squares and cubes when you're doing your exam okay all Next, right 77 cubed last digit will three. be three very good three and 53 cube last digit will be seven seven very good so now let's move on to um so they have just given some patterns we can just start with the exercises yeah we can just start with the exercises okay all right <clears throat> fine read the first question which of the following numbers are not perfect cubes are not perfect cubes so we know that 216 is a perfect cube right how look at this table oh yeah yeah sorry yeah so if you don't remember this you can even do it through prime factorization oh yeah and then the number should be like at least three in triplets yes they should be in yeah triplets so it's right. like any one number is not in triplets so yeah then so then it's will, not perfect it's not a perfect square yes just a minute Hiba. okay, okay. Okay, so two one six. Do you want to do this, or do you can you can do this by yourself? Uh, this is easy. I can do it by myself. Okay, let's do just one question from this. Huh? let's do. Let's try doing four double six five six. Yeah. So we will do prime factorization. Yeah. So we will go by two first, and then. Okay. 2, 3, 3, mm -hmm. and then uh, 2, 8, and then by 2, two again, mm -hmm. 1, 1, 6, mm -hmm. no, wait, oh yeah, 6 again, and then 4, mm -hmm. Good. Then and then by, we will go by 2 again, and then 5, Eight, uh, three, two, and then by mm -hmm. two again. Mm -hmm. So two, uh, nine, and then one, and then six, mm -hmm. and then by two again, then mm -hmm. one, and four, and mm -hmm. uh, eight. No, and then by five. First five and then eight because this is two nine one six, right? Oh, yeah, sorry, so sorry. two fours are eight, remainder is one, yeah, one four five, five eight, eight. remainder is one, huh. and then by two again, and then seven, hmm. and then two, and then nine. Hmm. Achha, we know about seven twenty nine, na? Seven twenty nine is the square of which number? Uh, nine. No, sorry, it's the no. cube of nine. It's the cube of nine. So we can write it like this. That means nine into eighty one, and eighty one. Sorry, and again nine into nine is eighty one. Nine into one. See, uh, you technically this is prime factorization, so you have to do prime numbers. But since this was getting too long and we already know that 729 is the cube of 9. So we are just going to put so like 9 over here. So this is a triplet, right? It's a triplet. Yeah. So what if, I, over here is triplets. what if I use like go by 3? Yeah, you can go by 3. I'm telling you, see, if you go by 3, it's going to take longer time. Your calculation will come till here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, uh, what the reason I'm saying is we already know that 729 is a cube of 9. So just to make things simple, we are doing this. All right, I understood. 
ha huh? so see we are getting at the end of the day we are getting a triplet now we wanted a triplet if this was not making a triplet then that would have been a problem so that's why we, we since we know that it is a cube of something that is why we did it like this fine so okay. now that is one triplet this is one triplet and this is one triplet so 46656 is the or you can write the cube root of 46656 is equal to 2 into 2 into 9 yes yeah so this is what 9 into 4 which is 36 okay okay i understood similarly the same way we did the one in squares and square roots we will have the second question as well find the smallest number by, by which each of the following has to be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube so let's let's try any one of these the rest you can do as homework Yes, Iba. Which one do you want to try? Mm, the first one. Two forty-three. So two forty-three. First, we will do the prime. Now, in this question, in this question, we will do prime factorization only because it is. We know that it's not a perfect cube. Okay. See, in the above question, we knew that. I mean, we were we had to check whether it is a perfect cube or not. But over here we have to see by which number it has to be multiplied. So in this, let's not take any chances. Let's let's play safe over here and go one by one. Okay. So we will do prime factorization only. That means we will not see over here. We did by nine, even though nine is not a prime number. But we over here, what I'm saying is, let's do by prime numbers only. Let's not take any chances. We might make a mistake somewhere. That's why. Okay. So let's do by prime numbers only. Two forty three. Ah, tell me what should we started with? Um, by three. Three, very good. Yeah, so then? it would be um, twenty four is by eight. Yeah, three is twenty four. Then one. One. Then okay. three again, and twenty seven. Then three Very again, good. then nine, then mm. three again, then three three one. So let's try to make triplets. So we we made one triplet over here, but these two are remaining. So we need to multiply it with what? One more three, right? Or can we They say that? Be... Yeah. Or can we say that three mul? It like two forty three should be multiplied by three. Yes, exactly. That is what we have to say. Two forty three, when multiplied with three. Okay, then I can do this one. I must say, third answer. It will become dash, and the cube root of dash will be three into three, which is nine. So this will basically become seven twenty nine. The third one also I can do. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Acha. Acha. Let's do this one. The fourth one. Read the question. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. Hmm. So what will we do in this? This is very similar to the previous. Yeah. That we did is just that it is a word problem, huh? Can we also like do what do we call it a long division method here? You don't need long division. You're not dividing anything, na? Huh? See, oh, prediction yeah. makes a cuboid of a uh, plasticine of sides. Let's write the sides first. Sides are what? Five centimeter, two centimeter, and five centimeter. How many such cuboids will he need to form a cube? So, in the sense that uh, he will keep these cuboids in front of the other, 
or right next to the other so that it becomes a cube so first of all, for that we need to find the volume of this you know wh why because do you remember when you were like i think in 6th grade or 7th maybe you had questions like this that you have a there is a floor that has to be filled with tiles and you know the dimension of the tiles so they used to ask you how many tiles will be needed do you remember yeah yeah i remember yeah so such it is this is a very similar question to that okay so what we are going to do is we are going to find out the volume of this one cuboid okay volume of one cuboid it will be how much length into breadth into height yeah 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 which is equal to 5 into 2 into 5 yes which will give us um 100 no no, no, no sorry right now let's not let's not uh, let's not multiply them what we try to do is 5 into 5 will bring them together and 2 so you see in order to make it a perfect cube this is very similar to what we did in this question okay in order to make it a perfect cube you need to have 5 into 5 into 5 and then 2 into 2 into 2 right but you don't have yeah. like that we so should we have like uh, it. we should yeah, have 3 5 3 2 3 three twos so we need to multiply it with a 5 and then two twos right so that it becomes triplets this will become a triplet oh yeah this will become a triplet so what we have to do in this question is just the same as we did, as we did in the previous question so you will say we are we need to multiply this with or you can say we need 5 into 2 into 2 which is 5 fours are 20 such cuboids to make a perfect cube why okay? would he need 20 because see this uh because this uh 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied okay. by 2 and that is 20 No, no, no. Not because that is twenty. That's not twenty. That is twenty-five into two, which this is fifty. The volume of one cuboid is fifty. See, the volume of one cuboid is fifty. But okay, see, he is not making it using wood or steel or something. He is making it using a material that is moldable. So he is making, like, let's say, for example, clay. Okay, so let's say he is making a cuboid. of out of clay or out of such a material plasticine as a moldable material okay so he is making it out of such a material and this cuboid is actually 5 into 5 into 2 okay now he needs to make something that is a perfect cube so how many such cuboids does he need so that he can all, he can put all of them together and it can make a perfect cube getting it yes so he needs 20 such cuboid so that then the the volume of one cube is 50 uh, sorry one cuboid is 50 and he has 20 such cuboids so he will get the volume he will get 1000 and this you can easily make a cube of 10 of side 10 each so the side will be 10 let me let me show it to you through a figure please you might be getting a little confused let me show it to you okay sure okay. 
this is the cube that he has to make which has volume 1000 okay okay now imagine that he puts this 5 into 2 into 5 wala this thing uh the cuboid in such a way that now i'm going to draw, draw the cuboid and erase this okay so each side is n so what he is going to do is he is going to put okay okay Can you see the small thing that I've made? This yeah. is his cuboid. This is the small cuboid that he has made, which has which has a side four five into two into five, which is given in the question. Can you see? Yes. See the way that we have arranged it is like this. This is five, and I just a minute. Oops. Just a minute, about it, please. Okay. Okay. So this is the cube that he has made, the small one, whose uh, sorry, cuboid, whose dimensions are five into five into two. These are the dimensions of this cube. so like this you can fit 20 such cubes in this particular uh you can sorry i keep saying cube again you can fit 20 such small cuboids in this big cube Okay, so like this, you can fit four in the base. You can fit four such small cuboids in the base. okay so like that you this is the first layer okay the first layer has four small cuboids then there will be a second layer then a third layer and a fourth layer and a fifth layer like that you're going to have five layers so the the second layer is going to be like this Okay, something like this. Don't get confused. This is just the second layer. Okay, so the second layer of cuboid is going to look like this. Then the third layer. Then there's be a fourth layer. Then there'll be a fifth layer. So there's four into five. There are twenty such cuboid. But all of this you obviously can't solve uh, using the figure itself, right? That is why we need math to solve such kind of questions. that you need to make a perfect cube so how many such small cuboids will you need in order to make that cube so what we did was we first found the volume of the small cuboid 
we said it was 5 into 2 into 5 and now in order to make it a perfect cube we need to multiply this these two fives by one five and we just had a single two so we have to multiply it with two twos so that gives us 5 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 5 into 4 which is equal to 20 so we need 20 such cuboids so that when you multiply 20 with the volume of one cuboid you get 1000 which turns out to be a perfect cube is this clear hiba yes i understood okay good fine now let's uh, let's try to find cube roots through prime factorization method you don't have cube roots through long division method right yeah you have or you don't have i i don't ha i don't have right so finding cube roots through prime factorization is pretty simple that is the second exercise again? finding cube roots through prime factorization finding cube yeah, root yeah that's easy i can do it yeah through prime factorization you can do it na so that's a very simple just what we have done over here uh even simpler than that in fact so find the cube root of each of the following numbers this you can do by yourself or should i help you the first one yeah 6.2 first one no i can do it by myself acha heba let me just tell you one thing so there's this number 27000 so instead of doing the prime factorization one by one 27000 what you can do is we know that this is 27 multiplied by 1000 yes yes so cube root of this is going to be equal to cube root of this and we know that cube root of 27 is what Twenty-seven. Yeah. Three. Look here. Cube. Yeah. Cube root of twenty-seven is three. Three. And we know that the cube root of one thousand is ten. Yeah. So this is going to be equal to thirty. So even without prime factorization, you can find it very simply, very easily. Okay. All right. See if this kind of a question comes in MCQ, where wherein it is very easy. It is like you can just solve it by looking at the number itself. You can solve it. You don't have to do prime factorization. If it comes as an MCQ, then please try to do it in the shortcut method. Okay. Otherwise, if All it right. comes for like a two or three marker, then you have to do the entire prime factorization. Okay. And this. Fine. Let's just do the state true or false. Cube of any odd number is even. Uh, it is false. False. A perfect cube does not end with two zeros. It is true. True. How many zeros should it have in multiples of three? Okay, because it's a cube root, so multiples of three. So either. Three zeros or six zeros, like let's say eight, along with six zeros. One. This one zero. Not one zero. It cannot have just one zero. It should have what I said: multiples of threes, either three oh, yeah. zeros or six zeros or nine zeros. This will be the. Cube of two zero zero two hundred. Okay. Okay. Because see, the cube of eight is two. The cube of these three zeros is this zero. मतलब one thousand is ten, and the cube of these three zeros is this zero. Fine. Alright. Next third one. 
if a square of a number ends with 5 then its cube ends with 25 i didn't understand this if a square of a number let's say there is a number whose square ends with 5 can you tell me whose square will end with 5 what type of uh, a number whose square will end with 5 it will be 5 5 yeah the last digit will be 5 so it's last digit in the um in the square will be 5 so this same number they are saying they are saying let me see the where the question went hmm the square of a number then it's cube yeah so the same number its cube will end with 25 right or wrong yes it's right it's right okay so just for checking see we already know that 5 cube is 20 125 what is 15 cube 15 cube it is 2025 3375 it is 3375 but this is not ending with uh, this is not this is not ending with 25 na yeah This is not ending with twenty five, so this means this is false. Please okay. check the answer at the back. What does it say? It's false. Ha, huh, false. Okay. There is no perfect cube which ends with eight. That is um false. False, because we know that two cube itself is eight. Yeah. Similarly, twelve cube, uh, one seven two eight. It was in the starting of this chapter, na? Hardy Ramanujan number he yeah. expressed it as twelve cube. So one seven two eight. Then the, the fifth question. The cube of a two digit number may be a three digit number. Is it possible? I don't understand. Can you explain? the cube of a two digit number may be a three digit number the cube of a two digit number may be a three digit number look the cube let's say a two digit number name what is the smallest two digit number 11 yeah what is the cube of 11 One to one. No, that is the square of eleven. That's what I said. Don't get confused between square and cube. Eleven cube is eleven into eleven into eleven, which is eleven into eleven is one twenty one multiplied by eleven. So what is one twenty one multiplied by eleven? Uh, one three three one. Very good. One three three one. Let me tell you a small trick that you can use. Okay, it's called the Pascal's triangle. It's a small trick that they won't teach you in um, eighth grade. It's called Pascal's triangle. So the trick goes like this: you write a one here, and imagine that there is an invisible zero in front of it. Okay, there's nothing means zero, because zero means nothing, right? So then what you do is you add this number and this number. Zero plus one is One, right? Yeah, one. Yeah. Then again, one plus zero is one. One. So you add all the diagonal. You are keep on adding it diagonally. So zero plus one is one. Now what you do is again you imagine that there are invisible zeros over here because there is nothing in front of one. There is nothing behind one over here. So that means nothing means zero. So again you add zero and one. What do you get? uh one you add one and one what do you get two two you add one and zero what do you get one one okay then again you have to imagine that there is an imaginary zero over here then you add these 
Add these and tell me what will you get. All numbers. Zero plus one is no no. Zero plus one is one. Two plus one is three. Two plus one is three. One plus zero is one. Again, you do the same thing. One plus three. Two is... plus one is one. Yeah. Oh. One and four. then one plus four. Then five. Then one. Six, buddy. Six, four, one. Four. Okay. So now the thing is, one five ten. Uh -huh. So this you can use. You can see that this is eleven to the power zero is one because anything to the power zero is one, right? Keba, remember? Yeah. Anything to the power zero is equal to one. Then eleven to the power one is eleven. Eleven square is one twenty one. Eleven cube is one three three one. Eleven to the power four is one four six four one. So this works only till eleven to the power four, because after this you will start, uh, you will have one four plus six, which is ten. Now this ten will get carried over to the next digit. That's why it won't work like this. But just if you want a shortcut, you can refer to this. Okay. All right. So anyway, so eleven cubed is one three three one. Fine. So the question was asking the cube of a two-digit number may be a three-digit number. Like, look at the smallest uh, smallest two-digit number. Actually, this was not the smallest two-digit number. The smallest two-digit number is ten, right? So ten cube is what one thousand. This also is not yeah. a three-digit number. This has how many digits? Four digits. So this one will be false. The cube of a two-digit number can never be a three-digit number. It has to be at least four digits. Okay, understood. So, in in your exam, if it asks you such a question, the cube of a three-digit number will be a may be a four-digit number. Don't get confused over it and do this in class. Just write the smallest two-digit two number that you have. Three. If the, if your question asks. One sec. The cube of a two-digit number can never be a three-digit number. And similarly, if the question asks you the cube of a three-digit number, that means it has three digits, may be a four-digit number. It will ask you four-digit number. So the answer will be no because I mean, looking at it, obviously you can say that it's not going to be a four-digit number. What if it asks you, can it be a five-digit number? So let's see. The smallest three-digit number we have is one one hundred. One hundred cubed is one. There are six zeros in this. So this is way more than five digits. This has seven digits, right? Yes. Yeah. So then, this will be false. So you can just try such questions by yourself. When it comes in the exam, just just look for examples. Look for examples. That's all you have to do. Okay. Okay. Sixth question: The cube of a two-digit number. This one is false. How do you know? Mm, it's written. Have Written where? In my book. Acha, in your textbook you have already written. See, let's see the reason why is this false. The cube of a two-digit number may have seven or more digits. So the smallest two-digit number is ten. The cube of ten is one thousand. It has four digits. The largest two-digit number is ninety-nine. And we can instead of doing ninety nine into ninety nine into ninety nine, we can do one one hundred minus one whole cubed. And we know the formula for a cube minus b cube. Do you remember? Yes. It was a cube minus b cube minus three a b into a minus b. 
which is one double zero double zero minus one minus three hundred into ninety nine, which is one double zero double zero minus one minus seven nine double zero double zero. Okay, so you basically have to subtract all of this. Just do two nine seven zero one. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get nine seven zero two nine nine. So this is a one two three four five six. This is a six digit number. So they are saying the cube of a two digit number may have seven or more digits. No, no, it won't. It will either have the least number of digits. It will be four. The most will be four. six. Yeah. So. Or five also it can have right somewhere in between. So a, a two digit number, a two digit number, the cube of a two digit number may have four or five or six digits. I should not write it like this. I should write it like this. Is that okay? Yeah. The cube of a single digit number may be a single digit number. True or false? I think yes. Give an example. Like. Uh... The cube of a single digit number, which has a single digit in it. The cube is also single digit. Cube root is also single digit. No, it's false because we can have like four or six. Four or six? No, this this is when we had a two digit number, dear. When we had a two digit number, then the cube. May have four or five or six digits. Here they are talking about a one-digit number. What all one-digit numbers do we know? Come back to this. What all one-digit numbers do we know? There are nine one-digit numbers, right? Yes. Out of these, see the cube of one. One is a one-digit number. Its cube is also a one-digit number. Two is a one-digit number. Its cube is also a one-digit number. Getting it? Yes. They are not saying it always has to be a one-digit number. They are saying it may be a single-digit number. Is this clear, Hiba? Yes. So the last one is true. Fine. But yeah, the third question is omitted. Hello. Fine. Yeah, it's not there in the new version of the book either. Okay, then that's it for today's class. Goodbye. In the next class, inshallah, we will do comparing quantities.